Hey everybody, welcome to Paul Mash TV, bringing you the very best in the country from all over the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen, he is Paul. Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Paul Mash TV. We're glad that you could join us today. And uh, we just wanted to thank everybody because uh, and the last episode we announced that uh, we were getting close to 400 likes on our website and we've surpassed that. We're now at about a 404. So we want to thank you again for uh, showing your support to Paul Mash TV all this time and uh, we hope that you'll continue to do so. And uh, once again, if you uh, have a... Um, if you have something you want to talk to us about, like if you want to send feedback on this episode, or if you're a band watching this and you want, to, and you're saying to yourself, "I'd like to be on the show," then it's real simple. Just uh, wait until the closing credits. We have our uh, Facebook page there, and we have an email address, and uh, we'll always respond to you. So we hope that you'll do that. And also remember, if you're watching on YouTube, there's that subscribe button right down there. So uh, hit that, and you'll keep up to date with all the latest on Paul Mash TV episodes as they come become available right now from arnold missouri we have rich cross and uh he's just getting ready to come out with an album soon and uh, of course we're playing a song of his uh right after the interview just like always so uh, without further ado here's rich cross right here on paul mash tv well hello everybody and welcome back to another interview and right now we have from arnold missouri we have rich cross thanks for joining us rich Thank you. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank you for this opportunity to do an interview with you. And I'd like to give a big shout out to Miss Donna Ray from Dakota Records. She she believed in me and let me join the label. And, and it's just a wonderful label to belong to. All the great staff and everything. It's a big up and up for it. Yeah, well, well I, I'm, I'm pretty sure... Uh... That Donna appreciates it, and I'm sure she'll see this interview too. And and uh, and you're right, Dakota Records is a wonderful label, and I'm glad, proud to be on the staff of the uh, record label. So it is. Uh, that the the fans and and all the support I get from everyone, it's just a wonderful feeling. Yeah, exactly. And I I'm, I made a lot of friends through Dakota Records, so I know that uh, how that is, and. Uh, and uh, and I'm sure they're going to love this interview just as much as they love all my others. <laughs> um, but we we again appreciate you coming out here. Uh, what um, I mean, what what influenced you to be a musician? I mean, I'm sure there's a wonderful story about why you decided to become a musician. Maybe you can tell us. When I was a kid, we used to sing a lot of doo wop mu music on the corners and as we walked and everything and. Attracted the ladies, mm -hmm. but uh, my mom and dad both owned a tavern, and I used to go there and play pool with the truck drivers, and always a lot of country music, and I used to love to sing along with. And I gave up singing when I went into the service, and my daughter got me back into it, and that's when I met up with Donna Ray. Mm -hmm. I've got about a hundred songs on YouTube. But uh, my biggest influence is country music. I love country music. I love Jim Reeves, Ray Price, Willie, Waylon, you know, all the old greats. And I strive and try to keep old country music alive. Mm -hmm. The new stuff, is I enjoy it, but it's not old country to me. Right. Yeah, and exactly. And that's, uh, I've heard a couple people even come up with songs about how uh, uh, I want to bring, uh, bring Outlaw Country back. As a matter of fact, I think somebody on the label did that same song. As a matter of fact, I interviewed that guy and played the song. And uh, one of the lyrics of a song was, I'm not knocking the old stuff, but we really need to bring the old stuff back. And, and, I, and I agree with that because the country today, I mean, it's still good, like I said, but it's, it, like you said, it's just not like the Waylon and the Johnny Cash and uh, Charlie Pride and that kind of thing, you know, so. Exactly. Uh, so. Uh, it's just, a, it's just kind of fades away, but we're all trying to bring it back, you know. Right. Like American Music Row. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, some, of, some of those uh, musicians that you mentioned, uh, I'm sure those are big influences to you as well, right? Like the ones I just mentioned as well? <laughs> oh, yes, sir. I, uh, 
did a meet and greet with uh, Mickey Gilly, and he oh. invited me to his place down in Branson to uh, come and spend some time with him and the band backstage. And a little friend of mine, uh, she sings with him sometimes. That little Miss Ruby Lee, mm -hmm. little country, and uh, he's just a great all-around person. He's a lot of fun to be around. Mm, well, that, that's good. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, I think he's a cousin of Jerry Lee Lewis, if I'm not mistaken, right? Or I may be wrong. That's on that. Fair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I, I personally like some of his stuff too. Um, uh, and now you said you've been around for quite a while. I'm, I'm sure you have a lot of albums. Maybe you can talk about some of your albums to us. I haven't made an album yet. I'm working on oh. my first. Working on my first right now. Most of it's all original. Oh. I did. Uh, have a talk with uh, Beverly Gosden, the great Fern Gosden's wife. Oh. And I've got the okay to do a few of his songs on my album, which I love Fern Gosden. He's a great country singer. And she's just the nicest lady you ever want to meet. Uh, yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, and Fern Gosden is one that I, I don't hear about much anymore either. So, uh, but he's, al he's always been uh, uh, the oldie but goodie, I guess you could say. <laughs> so. Um, cousin, the greatest I know of, and yeah. I'm a great friend of uh, Amber Say and her father Johnny Say was mm -hmm. a very here too. Um, we're we're getting ready to play a video from you very shortly. Uh, maybe you could tell us a little bit about that video. It's a Mickey Gilly song, and mm -hmm. kind of my way. Uh, but I just love it. My mama loved it. She uh came ill and was in hospice and we took care of her and I always like to see the smile on her face and, and her eyes when I'd sing the old country songs to her and that was one of her favorites and I always sang that song to her. Oh okay well that, that's good so uh, I guess I guess we'll be playing that in just a moment but I wanted to once again thank you very much for coming out Rich and uh if you ever have anything new you want to plug, like maybe when your album comes out, uh, I'd love to have you back for a second interview sometime. That's something to think about anyway. <laughs> I'd enjoy that immensely, and thank you so much for this opportunity. Yeah, yeah, no problem. And uh, let's go ahead and play that now. The uh, Mickey Gillick, I'm, I'm sorry, the, uh, what was it again? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Mickey Gilly, you don't know me. Uh, uh, right, yeah, I guess I was right the first time. When I, Mickey Gilly, you don't know me, a cover song? And we're going to play that yeah. for you right now, so don't go away. We'll be right back. I'll try a Mickey Gilly song called You Don't Know Me. I hope you enjoy it. You give your hand to me And then you say hello And I can hardly speak My heart is beating so And everyone can tell Thank you know me well, but you don't know me. No, you don't know the one that dreams of you at night and wants to kiss your lips and wants to hold you tight to you. I'm just a friend. That's all I've ever been. But you don't know me For I never knew The art of making her Oh, my heart aches with love for you Oh, pray and shy I gave my chance to buy The chance that you might love your hand to me and then you say goodbye I watch you walk away beside the lucky guy you'll never never know the one that loves you so no you don't know me Oh, the making 
Oh, mm-hmm. 